Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're taking a look at macOS 10.15 Catalina. So this was announced at WWDC this week, and um, this is the first developer beta. So there's a lot of things that don't work right now, um, so we're going to be looking at a lot of things that should be there. Um, there's a lot of things I just can't get to work right now, um, and there's a lot of things I'll be referring to the iOS video. Um, so... You really shouldn't install this beta if you're not a developer that's testing apps. Uh, this is a disclaimer that I'm using for everything. Um, if you just want to test the latest and greatest things, wait for the public beta that's coming in July. Um, you'll probably be happy that you did. Although, maybe not, because you'll you'll just feel like you'll have missed that. If you want to try it and regret it, then you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we got a, a few new features. The big new feature is that iTunes is gone. So if we open up Launchpad here, you can see there's this little question mark where iTunes used to be. Um, it doesn't just go away. Hopefully it will for the for the main general generally available update. Um, so that has been replaced by music, podcasts, and Apple TV. Now, um, this kind of reminds me of <laughs> what Microsoft did with Skype in uh, – when the early Windows 10 days, when they decided to break it up into different parts, but iTunes had to go away. It was terrible. It was bloated. Um, so now they're they're breaking it up into different parts. So if we open up Music here. This is the the all new Music app for macOS. Now they are not doing this on Windows. Uh, just so you know, in case you were hoping for this lovely treatment, you're still getting iTunes on Windows. Um, yeah, so none of my stuff is here. I don't know why. I don't usually use a Mac, so um, maybe it takes some time for this stuff to populate, but it is what it is. So um, there's a new lyrics feature, right, which is showing up on all, um, I believe, everything except watchOS. So it's not going to work here, though. We're going we're gonna to see in a moment. If we try to launch this this song, it's going to launch. And this one actually has lyrics, though. So it just shows the, the regular, um, well, it just uh, went away. Uh, so so here's the thing. On iOS, all it just said for everything was that, that there is no lyrics available for this song. Uh, it seems like Mac was going to do the same thing. So, But what the feature is, like, remember they added lyrics a few years ago, and it's just that sheet that you just saw. And what they're adding is something like what Amazon does, where it highlights the lo the line from the song as it's being sung, and it just goes goes through it as the song plays. And it's a really cool feature. I love it on Amazon. I can't wait to see it on Apple Music, but it does not work now It's um, for anything. So that's music. We also have the podcast app, which I don't even think I've opened yet. Um, so this is basically, I mean, it's very similar to what's happening on iOS. It's a it's a podcast app. You know, it has your your subscribed podcast. Now it's importing my library. Okay, so we have episodes, Twit. You know, Neo Win podcast is probably the best podcast in the universe. Um, so there's that. Okay, and um, yeah, that's that's the um, that's the wow. We should get better show titles for this. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, then we have the Apple TV app, which again. Similar to the Apple TV app on iOS. If we go and there's my stuff's not popular. And what's new about the TV app, as well as being new for the Mac, it also supports um, 4K HDR video. So um, pretty cool. Um, I'm using it on the MacBook Air right now, so uh, there's no 4K uh, HDR stuff happening. But now, what if you have an iPhone? Because remember, if you want to install the iOS beta, you have to install it from a Mac that's running this beta. And it actually says install via iTunes. But as we just saw, iTunes is gone. So what do we do? There are no instructions for it either. Um, what you can do, it's actually pretty easy. You can plug in your, your iPhone, which I'm about to do. You can't see it because we're on a screen recording. Um, and if we go to Finder, We'll find our iPhone right here, and we'll see the same screen that we usually see when we uh, load it in iTunes. So we can check for updates, we can restore I, I, iPhone and uh, all that good stuff. So it's all done in Finder now instead of iTunes, and, and that's um, the functionality of iTunes split up into four different 
pieces. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's the main bit, um, and it's probably the the most important bit. Uh, screen time, it's a new feature. Um, this is something that we've had on iOS for I think a year now. Um, if we open it, we can see my usage shows uh, less than it did before for some reason. You know, it's not not showing anything, but you know, like I said, a lot of this just doesn't work. Uh, if we go to options, we can say share across devices. So you can use iCloud to to share your iPhone, iPad. I've turned all that on as well, and uh, it's not uh, it's not showing me anything. So uh, there's that. Oh, there we go. We got something. Uh, we got Finder, Mail, all app system. It's, it, you know, I haven't figured out how to uh, show my my iPhone stuff on here or whatever. So that's a uh, uh, screen time. It shows you, you know, where you're using your most uh, screen time, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, super exciting stuff. It's, uh, I mean, it's all right. It's, uh, on a Mac, I don't see the benefit as much as on a phone because the phone is the type of thing where you just sort of pick it up when you don't mean to. And then you open Twitter or Facebook or something. A, a PC is something I feel like you go to more for a purpose and you use it for that purpose. Uh, there's some more minor stuff, such as a new start page in Safari. Uh, it's meant to give you uh, smarter smarter suggestions. Uh, and again, I don't use it much, so whatever. Um, photos. See, this is, this is where we just kind of get into stuff that's already happening on iOS. And I showed it in my video. My photos don't load here. I don't know why. <laughs> like I said, some of this stuff is just not working. iCloud Photos is on. Photo Stream is on um just not happening but what you get is a new browsing experience um the new editing stuff should be in here it's pretty much the um their the new browsing experience that they're cutting out screenshots and basically crap and um if you want to see everything you go to all photos it's also organized by days months and years and um if you want to see the full experience Go to the iOS video and 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 you could kind of piece together what you should be seeing here. All right. Uh, we also have a new reminders app. And again, same thing on iOS because a lot of this is all about um, using those same apps because we have we have Marzipan and and really it's about using the same app on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. So we have Smart Lists over here and um, you know a few new features. Really, it's about bringing that same app to the Mac. And we have the same thing with notes. Um, we're going to see a dark theme notes here. There's a new gallery view where we can see our notes if we just continue here. And that's it for notes. I, I can't get the mail app to open. There's there are new features in, in mail where you can block a sender or mute a thread or unsubscribe from a mailing list. But, but the app just won't open. So that's not happening today. Um, what I really want to show, though, was that was that you can um, kill iTunes by updating to, to this update. It's really that that's really the the big feature is that iTunes is gone. It's separated into three different apps and a feature in Finders. Um, there's also a new feature called Sidecar where you can attach you can attach an iPad as as an external display and it does it wirelessly. And then you could use the Apple Pencil with with the i with the iPad and it just works. It's it's pretty cool. But um that's Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. I might end up making another video in a couple of weeks when the next beta comes out because this is pretty incomplete with uh what's missing here and what I've actually been able to get to work. Uh so um stay tuned for that. We'll definitely have more co coverage coming soon. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.